Hello everyone, my name is Jana Cristo. Welcome to Buildium tutorial. Today I will focus on the maintenance, um, how to create vendor categories, how to enter the edit and delete a vendor. I will show you the vendor online portal. Um, also, how to create and manage work orders. And I will touch on the property inspections and the integration with Happy Inspector. Everything connected to maintenance is under the maintenance tab. So we'll start from vendors and I want to show you um, how to select vendor categories and how to manage them. So on your right side you have manage categories. Um, the cate most of the categories that you're going to use are already entered here but you can also add a new category and you can delete the category. From vendors um, from the maintenance tabs, if you go to vendors uh, from here, you can add a new vendor. And it's kind of uh, self-explanatory here, category, expense account, um, their information, um, also their tax information and insurance and this is important because um, it allows you to keep track of uh, the the expiration date and the software would actually remind you uh, when a vendor um, that when you need to update their insurance and going back to I've already um, entered a vendor so you don't have to wait for me um, while I do that. Here is the vendor I already entered. And just quickly, I wanted to show you uh, where you can add it or inactivate the vendor. When you inactivate the vendor, it's not going to delete it completely from the system, um, but it's not going to show up in active vendors. Um, so here is what you can do from this tab. Um, you can edit the vendor information, you can add uh, insurance, um, you can send them a password and welcome email. I already did that. Or you can block their access to the online portal. And um, I will also show you how that looks like, uh, how their portal uh, look, looks like and what information they can see. And um, in addition to that, uh, you can set up electronic payment for them. You can pay them by check. You can, uh, after um, repair is done, you can record the bill and um, record credit and refunds. From the communications tab, you can see um, Every, all emails, phone calls, any communications with that vendor uh, is going to be recorded here. Okay, I just wanted to show you how um, and what a vendor can see in their online portal. I already sent a um, welcome email and password for them to log in into their portal. And I just want, I will sign up, sign in as a user. Um, so I can show you how, when a vendor logs in, what, um, what they, they're going to see. So the first thing is ledger. And we don't have any transactions here, but um, they, they, they're going to be able to see all bills that are entered. Um, any credits, electronic fund transfers done, um, um, checks sent. So you will field a lot 
um, less phone calls from vendors because they can um, log in and see everything connected to um, their activities and um, also here they will see any documents related uh, any documents that you shared with them creating and dispatching board work orders uh, from the maintenance tab is super easy you just go to uh, click on maintenance work orders you can see overview of all the properties when you all the properties available and um, you can see the status of the work orders new in progress completed deferred and closed And here's, I'm going to add a work order. Okay. Um, properties, the category is others. Okay, here's a, uh, um, when you create a work order, you can make a specific um, vendor uh, preferred for uh, the selected property. And the reason this is important is sometimes you may have owners who specifically want to work with a vendor or um, you have decided to accept their vendor for uh, repairs. So here you can make this vendor preferred for, for this property. And entry allowed. Um, because the vendor uh, when you after you create this work order you can email it to the vendor um, and um, you want to specify if the entry is allowed or um, if it's unknown we'll say unknown and i'm going to select the owner is going to be the entry contact so the vendor needs to call the owner and arrange for um, the repairs or in this case uh, tile installation and i will say tile installation well in this case we want to get a quote so tile installation quote um, no, there is no need to enter parts and labor here, but you can. And here, if I want to send, when I send the order, work order, I want to, if I have any notes to the vendor, for example, the owner requests a quote on tile call them directly okay and that's a new um, let's say it's today normal priority if I want to um, add any attachments photos or anything like that I can do that here at attachments and all I have to do is email the vendor now if this is a repair i can um i can also email um, the rental owner so this way you notifying them that something is going on with the property and they can um, um, it just saves you a lot of time so i'm going to create i'm not going to notify the owner but i will create an email um, work order and that's it so the vendor now um, receives the work order okay here it is and when it's done 
when let's say they install the tile and all that then I will um, enter the bill and close this okay so this is where um, this is important because a lot of property managers apply uh, have a bill markup so I want to uh, when I'm creating this bill When I'm creating this bill, I want to, um, let's say this is $2,000. Whoa, it's too much. Um, and I want to specify that I have a uh, markup and you can enter a percentage or amount. So I will do like 10% markup. Okay. So this way, when a payment is made, the owner, when, when the payment is made, you will receive that markup in your account. Okay. So that's saved. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to, I just wanted to show you, um, how to um, how the bill is going to look like and in the vendors portal this is the vendors portal and well before we didn't have any anything here now uh, we have a bill entered i also wanted to show you how this transaction will look like to the owner if you um, this is m most of your um, accounting would be on cash basis but if you're doing a cruel basis then look at that repair even though the vendor is paid two thousand the um, owner is actually seeing two thousand and two hundred because the um, 2000 goes to the vendor and 10% of that goes to you. So the, the, the owner is going to pay 2200 for the tile installation uh, from which the property management company gets 200 for overseeing this. And once the owner pays this amount, the the vendor gets um, two thousand in uh, the property management gets uh, two hundred. Okay, um, let's go to property um, inspections. So here is the property inspection tab, and to get started, you need to sign up. Um, the cost is, uh, if you're on the essential plan, is $99 setup fee plus monthly fee, depending on how many units you have and how many inspections. If you are on the growth plan, you, um, the setup and inspections are completely free. So that's it for maintenance. Um, the next video is going to be um, on accounting. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notification when the next video uh, is available.